Hello there. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't know where you are in the world, but it's fall where I am and I totally miss the sun. I don't know about you. Today we're going to be talking about attributes, specifically multi-line attributes. Um, nice feature that came out a couple of releases ago inside of AutoCAD and I want to make sure you know all about it. All right. So we need to execute the at def command in order to add our attributes. And I don't know about you, but I can't always find things in the ribbon. So I'm going to show you a nice little tip. In fact, I had to do this just a little while ago because I couldn't find at def. Click on the great big A in the upper left hand corner of the screen and you see that they have this big empty box up here. You can type in any command and AutoCAD will tell you where it is in the ribbon. Super, super handy. So I can see here, home tab of the ribbon, underneath block, define attributes and it gives me the picture of the icon so it's easy for me to find it. Yay. All right. So I could actually execute it right there by hitting an enter, but I'm going to go find it in the menu. So I'm going to drop this list down. There is my icon, define attributes. Perfect. And I'm going to say I want a multiple line attribute. Nice, nice feature. All right. So this isn't really a presentation on how to make attributes. So hopefully you've done it before. So I'm going to run through this quickly. The tag, let's call that name. That's what we're going to refer to it as. We'll just call it name. And the prompt is actually what the user will see when they insert your block. So how about like enter name or how about company name? Something like that. Now, you can try to stick a default in here, but you'll see that it won't let you do it. You're actually going to have to click this button at the end that has the ellipses on it, also known as three dots. And underneath there, oh, let me turn off my dynamic. <laughs> this is this go cold, which is kind of sad because there's no Peyton Manning. Now, in case you're wondering how I did that, empty jig string. Maybe I'll show you at the very end of this tip how to do that, empty jig string. Anyway, so I'm going to select where I want my attribute definition to go. Looks good. Right about there looks pretty good. Let's put Walt Disney. And I'll do an, another line as well. We'll say corporation. And how about Buena Vista? Something like that. It doesn't really fit in there. We're going to pretend that it does. Okay, now to get out of here, you can hit OK. I'm lazy. I just like to click anywhere outside of the dialog and it will close the dialog. So that's another tip for you. And if you're happy, and I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. All right, so it's not a block yet, right? There's just one attribute definition on there. It's not a block yet. So I'm going to turn it into a block. Badly behaved. I didn't pick it in the ribbon. Let's call it, how about title? And I'm going to have to specify where the insertion point is, right? And I'm going to have to pick the object. So I'm going to say an OK. First thing it wants to know is the insertion point. That's good enough for me. And select the objects. I want this guy and I want this guy. And hit an Enter. Now, it recently, and I didn't tell it otherwise, we they've changed this so that by default it will actually put a block on the screen so you don't end up with an empty screen. So it's asking me what I want to have as my as my attribute, right? My attribute value. Once again, can't key in here, have to click on here if I want to change it, but I'm actually going to leave it the way it is. We're just going to leave it exactly the way it is and hit an OK. All right? So there's one block on my screen with the attribute definition. I'm going to insert another one. Go do it from the ribbon. Insert. There's my title. I'm going to pick where I want it to go. Let's put it right about here. Now I want you to notice that it's asking me for the company name. That's the block. That's the attribute definition I defined. It's asking me at the command line. That is because of a system variable called at dia, A-T-T-D-I-A, -T -T and it's off. So it's not showing it to me in the dialog box like you saw before. By default, it's showing it to me at the command line. So if you like the dialog box, you're going to need to set at dia to one. There's another tip, lots of tips in this one. All right, enter company name. All right, let's see. Let's say, let's pick somebody else. How about um, um, Parsons, Brinkerhoff, another one of my favorite companies. Um, and uh, where are they located? They're located everywhere. I'm just going to put uh, San Francisco, but probably isn't an office in San Francisco. Okay, and when I'm finished, hit an extra enter. And it didn't quite fit in the box, but I think you get the general idea. All right, so I have two blocks. I have two different values for the attributes, right? Now, if I want to make a modification, you can just double click on this guy. It's going to take you into attribute editor. And I want you to notice that once again, I try to click down here. It's not going to let me do that. Maybe it turns out it's really not San Francisco. I want to change it to Los Angeles. All I have to do once again is I have to click right here. That lets me open up the multi-line editor. And now it's dynamic. It's right there on the screen. Now let's change this to, I don't know, let's change it to London. 
why not? Okay, I can hit OK or I can just click outside the box, whatever you want. And when I'm finished, one more OK. Two blocks, two attribute definitions, actually two different values, right? All right, so that was pretty simple. So that's how you work with multi-line attributes. And then I promised you, if you were good, I know you guys are all good, I'd show you empty jig string. I've showed this to you before in a previous tip, but let's remind you one more time. And uh, what should we put on here? Go, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll say Yankees. I don't think it'll fit, we'll find out. But now if I go into text, it did fit, there you go. So you can put anything you want in there. Put your favorite team, put your dog's name, your cat's name, put your boss's name, company name, whatever makes you happy. M T jig string, okay? All right, so uh, thank you so much for joining me. There were many tips in this one, and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.